Fourteen miles north of San Francisco lies Muir Woods National Monument, one of the areas being heavily impacted by the European native fungal disease, sudden oak death. The pathogen first discovered in the early 90s is sweeping destruction through California's northwest coastline and with it taking the lives of several tree species. And tan bark oaks are not showing any resistance to the pathogen. And as we walked through Muir Woods this morning, I don't think you could see any tan bark oaks that weren't affected or weren't already dead. Uh, the leaves don't drop off immediately and so you see uh, dead foliage just hanging on to the plant. This is not a deciduous tree. Um, it doesn't drop its leaves. It's evergreen. And so it becomes really apparent even in the winter when it would other, other trees would be deciduous. This has got dead leaves hanging on. Eventually the trees will fall. Uh, it hasn't spread everywhere yet, the pathogen, but it's there's a huge quarantine area in California where it occurs. The pathogen has spread through 16 counties in California and is not slowing down. We haven't seen many trees with resistance, if any. Uh, it's a subject of research at present, and we're hoping that some trees somewhere will have resistance, but it's destruction on the level of Dutch elm disease, where there are no more Dutch elms uh, in the eastern U.S. that are reproducing. And so tan bark oak and the coast live oak, which is most heavily affected and killed outright by the disease, form huge acreage areas in California and are so important to many wildlife species. The acorn production for food, insects use the tree for forage uh, and for reproduction, and it's really a very important component of California ecosystems that we're losing by the tens of thousands. Sudden oak death is not only harming the tan bark oak and coast live oak populations, but further endangering rare native plants. We're working with a rare plant in Marin County called Baker's Larkspur. The sites where it's suitable for reintroduction because there are really only about 10 plants left in habitat and only two of the, four of those flowered this year. Well, the sites where it's suitable to introduce are heavily impacted by sudden oak death. And in fact, branch drop from trees affected by sudden oak death have landed on the Baker's Larkspurs. It's not a good thing. And one tree fell adjacent and was on winery property where they really wanted to remove the fallen tree. Um, the sawdust from that removal process mulched out any seedlings of Baker's Larkspur that would have come up this year. And so it's having direct impact on rare plants as well as broadly through uh, very important large plant communities in California. Currently, there is no cure for the non-native fungal disease. On a landscape scale, the best we can do is to try to prevent further spread, which means if you go into a sudden oak death infected area such as this, where you can see the effects quite readily, is to clean your shoes before you leave the area, before you get back in your car. Don't track mud around. It's uh, really a, a most active organism in the winter when it's wet. And so um, bay trees are hosts. They, don't, they aren't killed by sudden oak death, but the organism survives on them and sends out spores. They're washed by rain, sometimes right onto oak trees, sometimes into waterways. And so it's really a matter of hygiene, uh, people and, and vehicles, that will help limit the spread of this disease. But in terms of it going away, probably not any time in our lifetimes.